Hi, I'm Out of Darts. Today I wanted to show off a new mod for the Nerf Rival Hera. I will have a follow-up video that does a little bit more explaining this when I've had a chance to kind of fine-tune everything. Uh, when I first got this blaster, I was really happy with it, except for, ooh, except for a couple things. Um, one is that the handle's pretty large for the amount of force that you have to put on this trigger. And uh, so one of my first thoughts was to do a full auto mod for it. And I finally got around to playing with that a couple days ago. And this is officially full auto. Uh, I have done this without doing any external modifications or changing the blaster on the outside anyway. And I've also done it without cutting any parts inside. So the fun thing is that you could, in theory, reverse this mod if you wanted to. Um, so inside there's a little spinner gear, N20 gear motor with a little custom designed 3D bracket, 3D printed part uh, spinner, and also a um, motor holder. And uh, as well as a custom switch plate to allow for, you can probably hear that there, I've got a little spinner that spins here. Uh, it's a single pull dual throw switch, so it has motor braking, so it's rather responsive. And uh, without talking too much more about it, let's just, uh, Give it a shot. Right now I feel like the rate of fire is a little high. I've got a 1200 RPM motor in here. I think I'm gonna bump that down to maybe a six or 800, maybe a thousand. But overall, it's working really well. I'm going to game test this and see how it actually performs in, in gameplay this weekend and make sure all the parts hold up. If people are interested, I'll probably put together a kit for this and a full tutorial. I think the Hera is a really great platform. Uh, my complaint about the grip is a lot better when all you have to pull is a two millimeter electronic trigger. So because this is easy, I can actually change the positioning of my grip and it makes this feel to me a lot better than when I have to really yank on that manual trigger. This of course is a MOSFET rewire. I do sell these on my shop, just uh, rewired on MOSFET. I'll have more of them in stock by the end of next week. Um, the MOSFET mod is really pretty easy to do. It's just another uh, five or six solder joints from the normal uh, normal mod as well as uh, two resistors, a diode, and the MOSFET itself. So uh, I will have a full tutorial on how to do the MOSFET guide for this as well, but in the meantime, if you are looking for one, uh, Tom from Foam Data Services has one as well, and he'll, I'll put that in the description. Let me know what you think of this mod. Uh, let me know what else you'd like to see from this blaster. I definitely have more in the works for this. I wanted to do a whole series, so I thought I would start this now. Uh, until next time, I'm out of darts.